Carl Zeiss Jenna Biotar 58mm f/2 Lens review Modern digital photographers looking for a more distinctive look have turned to classic manual focus lenses, and one of the most popular of these is the Soviet Helios 44-2, famed for its swirly bokeh. However, the Helios, despite being a great lens, is not unique. In fact, it's a derivative of the famed Biotar 58mm f/2 lens, produced by Carl Zeiss Jenna from 1936 until 1960. Just like the Helios, the Biotar has many variations, offering modern photographers the ability to create unique and distinctive images. This detailed guide based on years of research will illustrate the many versions of the lens, the different images each is capable of producing, and which versions are best suited to your style of photography. What is the Biotar? Like many lenses, the Biotar 58mm has a long genealogy. This ancestry stretches as far back as the 1920s, a time when several lens manufacturers were attempting to improve the Carl Zeiss planar design that originally debuted in 1896. Taylor, Taylor and Hobson in the United Kingdom first developed their Pancro series, and Schneider Crew as Natch independently developed their Xenon lens formula. The Biotar was developed by the famous lens designer Dr. Willie Walter Murdy for Carl Zeiss, shortly after these earlier lenses, and all three lenses used a similar formula, they were six element lenses with asymmetrical outer elements, a variant of the double gauze design for higher performance and increased field correction and speed. These double gauze lenses attempted to improve on the planar design from 1896 by abandoning the strict symmetry approach for the radii of curvature of the surfaces and the refractive indices of the glass materials, and therefore achieved additional correction parameters. The asymmetry means that the front three-part lens group was overall larger than the group behind the diaphragm. Furthermore, the two outer collecting lenses are each of a larger diameter than the two inner lens pairs. Virtually all of today's fast lenses with a medium field angle, 50 to 100 mm focal length on 35 mm cameras, are double gauze designs, like the Biotar. While Zeiss likes to claim that they were the originator of this improved double gauze design, there is evidence that the Biotar was based upon the Taylor, Taylor and Hobson Limited Cook Series Opic Lens. For those of you interested in lens history I recommend reading Ilya Volkov's article who is the father of all fast 50mm lenses. Planar VS Opic Lens Evolution In 1927, the Biotar lens was released as a 50mm f/1.4 cinematography lens, and as 58mm f/2 version for 35mm cameras on the 19th of October, 1936. It was the standard lens on the famous Kind Night Exacta by Ihagi, the most technically advanced 35mm camera made prior to World War II. Creating such a fast lens prior to World War II was one of the greatest feats in the history of optics, since it was designed and built without the use of computers. All of the optical calculations were done by hand by teams of optical technicians. However, it was really the post-war version of the lens that really set the stage for the success of the lens.